I don't need new fears at this stage in, in the game. You know, I don't need to turn it on and see, you know, is your Uber driver a serial killer? <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll break it down tonight at 11. Fucking great, man. I'm about to get in one. You think we can bump that story up to 8.30? <laughs> I used to do a lot of online dating. I was on a dating app called Uber. <laughs> First of all, the man has a car. <laughs> it's half the battle, you know? And he's picking you up, so chivalry is not dead. <laughs> Not yet, it's getting there. <laughs> uh, first of all, I wanna say fuck Uber. Right, fuck them. Uh, probably a lot of you called an Uber here, but fuck them. <laughs> now, I took an Uber once, and I will never take one again. All right, uh, I was trying to show off when I took it. I didn't really know what Uber was about, but it sounded cool, so. <laughs> I was around my friend, I was like, man, I'm about to order Uber. Go on there, like, dude, what the fuck is that? I was like, you don't know shit about this, calm down. <laughs> but it turns out I didn't know shit about Uber. Because I did not know it was people who driving you in their own personal vehicles, All right? Dude picked me up in a smart car. <laughs> The whole ride, he right here, the whole ride. I couldn't even get in the back seat. My friends thought I was hanging out with him. When I got in the car, I heard somebody say, I bet he voted for Trump. I bet he did. I like cabs, man. All right, this Uber driver, he was following the rules of the road, coming to complete stops and stop signs. The light turned yellow, he slowed down. I'm sitting next to him like, gun it, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fuck. Like cabs, man. I took a cab from the south side of Chicago to O'Hara Airport, 15 minutes, rush hour traffic. <laughs> it was a traffic jam, he jumped on the L track like, don't worry about it, I know this schedule. I'm sitting in the back like, ride this motherfucker, Hoppy. <laughs> Shit. I love you. <laughs> Fucking Uber. The Uber driver talking to me the whole ride. I'm like, dude, would you make a phone call in a loud foreign language so I can feel comfortable, please? I didn't like being single though. I was on every dating app. My favorite dating app, of course, was Lyft and Uber. I'm a big fan. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know what Lyft or Uber is, it's when a dude who used to be a surgeon in his country. Uh, <laughs> picks you up and drives you somewhere for very cheap. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I like Lyft and Uber because I can finally afford to like send a girl a car, which 10 years ago was a P. Diddy only move. It was a Diddy <laughs> exclusive. But the way that P. Diddy did it, it was cool. He was like, hey girl, send me an address. I'm gonna send you a Bentley. You're gonna get inside, go all the way up to my penthouse where we can see the city. Cause you with Diddy. It was cool, it was a cool move. <laughs> Move. But now I can do it as Neil Nanda. I can be like, hey girl, send me your cross streets. I'm gonna send you an 02 Honda Accord. It's gonna have a pink mustache, you can't miss it. You're gonna get inside, the driver's name is Badok Dok. <laughs> he used to be a surgeon in Mongolia. <laughs> but now he's in a band. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna drive past eight homeless dudes to my studio apartment where you're gonna immediately regret being there. <laughs> Wish you were back in that Honda, cause you would kneel Nanda. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. I was working for Uber and Lyft, okay? And I am so glad to report, I no longer do that shit. Oh my God, hallelujah. Cause I was gonna slap one of y'all in my back seat. Oh, especially people that ride Uber. Do you hear me? Uber people get in my car with all the requests. Do me a favor, turn the GPS off. I'll tell you where to go, okay? 
Roll a window up three fourths of the way down. I need medium air on my forehead when I'm on my way to a meeting. Do me a favor, um, turn the radio on 102.758. I like classical jazz hip hop on the way and be going three blocks. Bitch, get your $1.31 sit ride ass out of here. When Uber take their fee, your ride costs 99 cents. You know what I'm saying? Uber people get in my car, drinking up all the free water, eating up all the peppermint. That is for my Lyft passengers that tip, God damn it! That's a lot of Uber riders over here, okay? Oh, I'm about to tell y'all how y'all do, okay? Oh my, because I was already pulling up to the job pissed off, first of all, because they got me with them commercials. You can make $1,400 a week driving for Uber and Lyft when you want to. Oh, you can make the money. Yes, you can if you're going to live in a car all week, okay? Because you about to be driving from sun up to sun up, okay? You're going to have 15 cups of coffee, 500 donuts, and you're going to make the money, but you're going to die the next day with your blood pressure. 1600 over 480, okay? And then they still gonna need to refer somebody for that $500 to make the 1400 for the week. And then after you refer somebody, then you're gonna have to turn into a life coach so you can get they ass out on the streets. Oh, they slave driving you and you out there slave driving, okay? Because that is some long hours right there. <laughs> First of all, how long have you guys been pals? So two months of friendship. So that's interesting. That's I don't get to meet a lot of dudes past the age of 12 that have been friends for only two months. <laughs> where, where do you meet a dude where it's just a two-month friendship at this stage in life? So where did, where did this whole um, relationship, where did this whole relationship begin? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that's very 2016 of you guys. <laughs> By the way, those applauses are coming from everyone who's fucked up tonight, thankful that they have a ride home. Thank God I got a way home that's not me. Thank God it's not me tonight, and it's hot cock cock. Like, if I got in your car, what would your first thing you would say to me be? Nice shirt. Nice shirt, yeah, for sure. Now, sir, I don't know what gave you the impression that me looking this way made you think I was talking to you, but, but how much weed did you smoke and where can I get some of it is my next question, <laughs> but I'll take it from here, man. Um, Uber, you were driving, you were sitting in the back seat, right? What was exchanged that made you get out and go, I think we should keep in touch. You know what I'm saying? There has to be a moment. Like, dudes, first of all, you guys are dudes. So that already says to me, you don't need much. Because dudes don't need much to be exchanged. Very little information. It's just like, dude, you like sports? <laughs> what? Dude, I love sports. Are you serious? Dude, that is, dude, are you, do you like food? <laughs> are you serious? Dude, I love food. What, dude, dude, what is happening right now? We are really connecting. This is crazy. This is crazy. Are we dudes? I think we're dudes. That's why it's so easy. Everybody that takes Uber and Lyft these days, I feel sorry for cab drivers. I bet they're trying to trick people. <laughs> like, no, it's Uber, yeah. It's Uber. Like, why is your car yellow? Fucking, don't worry about it. Just get in. Everybody takes Uber and Lyft because it's slightly cheaper than a cab. But what you save in money, you pay for in conversation with the driver. <laughs> right? Nothing is free. You'll be halfway through your trip and be like, you know, I guess I never really did get over my parents' divorce. <laughs> you, you can let me out here. I have a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, people will talk to their Lyft driver all day, like, up and down. They'll talk to them. But if your cab driver was like, what do you do for work? You'd be like, enough with the chit chat, Ahmed. <laughs> Trying to get some work done? It's a double standard. Talk to Ahmed. He's had an interesting life. You might learn a thing or two. You know, he'd be like, you know, we were able to escape into Pakistan. I evaded gunfire. I lived in a ditch for six months. Surviving on beetles, you know? 
That's like some Bear grill shit. You're like, oh, I had no idea. Oh, man, that's crazy. It's like, yeah, I cannot. Beatles, they freak me out now. I cannot eat any more Beatles. I, uh, I get it, man. I get it. You talk to your Lyft driver. He's like, then the band had creative differences. That sounds really difficult, Chad. <laughs> it was. Because Dylan wanted to go solo, and he was the heart of the band. <laughs> Did you ever think that one day your cab drivers would just be random people with free time on their hands? <laughs> Never. How do you not know that one day your house won't be on fire, and some 21-year-old kid with a smartphone will show up like, Hey, what's up? I'm your firefighter? <laughs> I was the closest one to the blaze. <laughs> Don't worry, stand back. I brought a super soaker. Everything's under control. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of pressure. This is good. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, the fire's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Oh, fuck, it's Dylan. The band's getting back together. <laughs> Sweet. Good luck with the fire, bro. The problem, the biggest problem, I think, with Uber and Lyft is that it's made getting into random cars so commonplace, right? You'll get into a truck. You'll get into an SUV. You'll get into a smart car. When you got into a cab, you knew you were getting into a cab. Like, people don't even really look for the mustache anymore. Like, I could take my car tonight just go to a bar at 2 a.m. Just be like, hey, somebody get an Uber? <laughs> Some drunk guy would be like, hey, I'll catch you guys later, it's here. <laughs> yeah, take me. <laughs> but I can just drive to the woods and murder this guy. <laughs> he would just be in his phone the whole time. Wait, this isn't West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs>